Hey foodies, thanks for watching. I'm coming out with a series called Deep Fry Fridays where over the next few weeks I'm going to be featuring some deep fried foods made with gluten free products. And the very first one I want to work with is old fashioned sour cream glazed donuts. They're one of my favorites. But first, we need to look at the recipe. Okay, so I'm going to start with a bowl and I'm gonna add all of my dry ingredients. So my flour, my salt, my baking powder, and I'm gonna leave the sugar for now. And I'm just gonna mix that up with just my mixing paddle. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside now I'm going to add my butter and my eggs. One. And my sugar. Oops, look at that. There we go. Now that that's mixed, I'm just going to take a little bit of my nutmeg and I'm going to get some nutmeg into the dry mixture. The nutmeg just brings out the flavor of the donut. Okay, so I want to add a third of this into here and then I'm gonna mix it and then I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna add a third of this, and mix it and stop and just keep going back and forth. So, I'm gonna add a third. Oh, it's looking good. Okay, so I'm going to scrape the walls of the mixer down. And one last mix. Okay, so it's quite a wet recipe. Set it aside for a minute. As you can see, I mean, it's really quite wet, but it's going to do exactly what we want it to, and that's fry up really nicely in the deep fryer. Okay, so I'm going to put this into a piping bag so I can pipe donut shapes right into the deep fryer. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to get my uh, fryer going. Before we start deep frying the donuts, we need to make the icing or the glaze. And so we're gonna add icing sugar. Oof. <laughs> the vanilla, a bit of salt. I'm using maple syrup instead of corn syrup. I like the flavor of the maple syrup. 
and some hot water. And we may need to add a little bit more hot water, but we'll soon see. We're gonna mix this up. Okay, I'm gonna scrape the walls down and we're gonna give it one last mix and then the glaze is ready. There we go. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. Oh, isn't that lovely looking? Okay, so I'm gonna scrape that off. I can think of a few kids that are gonna wanna lick the spoon for this one. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna get the deep frying stuff ready. So I've got everything ready for deep frying the donuts and I thought we could we could deep fry long sticks of them, but then I want the actual donut shape. And because it's so wet, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shape them onto parchment paper and then drop the parchment paper into the deep fryer. One. There we go, a little bit fatter this time. And the nice thing about sour cream glazed donuts is they don't have to be perfect. You could even make a pretzel shape if you wanted. Okay, so let's start with three and see what three do for us. So you wanna plop them into the oil ever so carefully. I'm gonna drop the whole thing in and then pull the paper out. That seems a lot safer. Look at these go. Oh my goodness. I think it's a little hot. I'll turn it down a bit. Got last one in. <laughs> These look good. Okay, so pull that one out. Look at that. That looks great. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit more. There we go. And I'm gonna do it, put in a few more, and then we're gonna glaze them. Look at these donuts. Oh, they look great. So I'm gonna take my glaze. And I'm just giving it one good stir because it's dried a little bit on the top. And let's do a proper donut. Just let it do its thing. I think that needs to be a little wet. Let's add a little bit more water. And just remember when you're if you find your icing is too thick, a little tiny bit of water goes a long way. I mean, I added probably a tablespoon there and it's considerably thinner. I mean, you can see that it's, it's a lot thinner. Okay, so I'll just take that out for now. Look at that. that looks so much better. Well, there you have it. Old fashioned sour cream glazed donuts. Mm. They taste just like it. I don't think I'm gonna share these with anybody. 
Thanks for watching. I look forward to reading all of your comments. See you again soon.